Hey everybody, welcome back to the fish tank. We're going to have a quick look at what's coming up in the next patch of Mini Masters version 2.9, which unfortunately is going to be the last content patch. There'll still be balance patches going forward, but this is going to be the last content patch. Uh, and there is a current PTR on, so if you're watching this video soon after I put it up, then there's a chance that you could get involved. Uh, try the stuff out, look at the new, uh, the new card, although We'll see in a minute. The new card doesn't have any artwork or a model yet, uh, but we can see what it's going to do. Uh, we've had a little test with it, and it's just a pink werewolf at the moment. Uh, but anyway, without any further ado, let's find out what's going to be in patch version 2.9, or at least the proposed changes. Remember, these are the proposed new card, how it works, as well as the new alt perks, two new alt perks, and the proposed balance changes. But based on the feedback received from the community within the PTR, some stuff might get changed. Right, here we go. So, version 2.9 is going to have a brand new card, and that is going to be The Revenants. Now, I did hope to go into the game and show you it, but it's got no artwork. It's got no effects. Not go, not, not got a unit, really, a minion, uh, a model. Uh, but we do... It doesn't actually have a description in the game, but we have... Fortunately, got that description from the devs. So let's find out about the Revenant. Eight mana, a cursed minion, legendary. So 70 damage, 63 DPS. That's higher than a cleaver, so it is powerful. 400 health. Speed of 11 might get changed because that's sometimes a little too fast to grab a bridge. And it's a melee only minion. So what happens when you spawn this guy? It will mark for death. The highest maximum health enemy ground minion. And uh, I think there's a restriction that it has to have at least 300 current health to be confirmed. So when you, when you spawn this, it's a one-time only thing. It marks for death the highest maximum health. So maximum health doesn't take into account how much health it currently has. How much it started with. Um... It will mark it for death, and that does a couple of things. Firstly, it effectively adds a taunt to that marked minion, but that taunt is only felt by the Revenant, so it's like a special taunt that the Revenant will uh, re react to, but nothing else will. So when, when it's in range, the Revenant will prioritize the marked for death units. And there's something else the marked for death does. Normal attacks by the Revenant on normal targets will fear. Uh, the first attack against every minion will fear. So kind of like how the stun lancers work where their first attack against a minion stuns, his first attack will fear the target, which can or c might not be so great because you've got to remember fear, something running away, if you're melee then it's kind of frustrating because you've got to chase it. But going back to the marked for death, if the target is the marked for death one, remember there can only be one of those, uh, it will also root the target. So it will fear it, meaning it will stop attacking, and it will root it, meaning it can't run away. So then that means the Revenant can DPS it. And of course, as we saw with the stats, the 60.3 DPS is very powerful. Now, if the Revenant kills the unit that is marked for death, the Revenant gains Rage, Haste, and heals for 200. So 63 DPS to start with, then when it rages and hastes, it's going to become a bit of a beast. You should put your cam in the card frame. Good idea, Zeus. Um, I don't know. That's a good question from Bad Guy in the chat. I don't know how, what the priority will be with other taunts uh, with regards to the Mark for Death taunt. I would assume, and it depends how it's coded, of course, but I, I would assume the Revenant would prioritize this unit over anything else. Um... So, uh, we'll have to see if that actually works out or not. Okay, so that's how it works. You spawn it, it marks something for death. If it attacks that marked for death thing, it fears it and roots it. If it kills it, it gets a buff. Okay, so that's the new Revenant card. As always, let me know what do you think about this. Uh, of course, every time we see a new strong card, a new expensive card, you're always going to be thinking about cringe ritual decks but that's the thing that's part of the game but we must accept it okay so that's the new card the revenant uh, we also have a couple of new perks being added new alternate perks 
if you still don't know that alternate master perks exist in the game, which seems to be about 80% of the, the community, please pay attention. Right, so this is a alt perk 2 for Ravager. His current perk 2 is the Feeding Frenzy, I think it's called, where you get the haste when a minion is damaged enough. So instead of that, his alt perk 2, the Onslaught Codices. He gets three one-use copies of an Onslaught Codex randomly added to your deck. So it's a one-time only perk, but the one time it happens, you get three one-use only cards. Okay, so it's not... Once, once you've used those three cards... No further benefit. But what does the Onslaught Codex do? do? Sorry, It's it's like uh, Apep's minion book. But instead of copying minions from your opponent, you get some random minions. So, I'm assuming that the, the book is free. And then you get four, follow along, four random, five plus mana, non-mythic melee minions. I'm assuming you choose one of those, um, and it will cost three less than normal. Okay, so you get this book, you get these five, sorry, four random minions, five plus mana, uh, mythic melee. So there's probably not a million, but there's probably quite a lot of options, and they cost three less. You get to do that three times, okay? So you basically you're, you're saving nine mana overall. Right. So that's Ravager's perk 2, and the Valorian ult perk 1, holy fire. So this is going to be replacing his normal perk 1, which is going to be the Searing Light. And remember, these are alternate perks that you can choose whether or not you want to use, and you can choose before the match, and also during the match, up until the point that it's unlocked. So you can react to what you're playing against. So Valorian's holy fire... It costs one mana. It's a timed card that you get every 23 seconds currently. And it sets Holy Fire to the ground. 75 damage and 75 healing is what I think Holy Fire currently is. If you look at the Brother of the Burning Light, Burning Fist, sorry, it says 100, but I think that's wrong. Um, is this a defensive spell or a normal spell or ability? Um, I, I assume you can use it anywhere. Haven't tried it though. So that's the uh, the alt perks and the new card, the Revenant. As always, let me know in the comments what do you think. Uh, reminder, cringe reminder, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the fish tank, if you're new to Mini Masters. Let us keep you up to date. And of course, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. And turn that bell on. So that's the new content. Let's have a look at the buffs that are going to be coming through. Bannerman now spawns with a shield. Chain Gang. You get four of them instead of three. That's the little slithers. Denver. Move speed increase from three to four. Normally, increasing a unit's move speed is not great. Especially big units because you kind of want them to be slow and lumbering. Hang around on a bridge. Spawn them defensively. Build up a push. Stuff like that. But in Denver's case... Being faster means he can throw something and then run across to get it and throw it again. So I think in Denver, Denver's case, that makes sense that that's a buff. Frostfang Familiar, that's like the, the good version of the Haunting Hugger, where it gives Vampiric and the Freeze to your friendly minion that it chooses. Uh, this will move to friendly minions anywhere. So instead of it only going to something that's close to it, as long as there's a friendly minion on the board, wherever it is, it will make a beeline to that so even if it's right near the the enemy's face as long as it survives and remember it has a little more a little bit more health than it did before and it's very fast now uh, so i can see some more value from that guy frost feathers their move speed's gone down quite a lot from 10 to 7 does this also affect the flyby unsure but quite possibly could be uh, jack here in the chat says holy fire is a normal ability can be used anywhere thank you um, healing Fireball. I feel like the cast delay used to be one and a half seconds. It went down to one second. Now it's going down to half a second. So if you're missing your Healing Fireballs. Um, and I always find that interesting or kind of funny to see when someone's using the Gambler's Ball and you get the Fireball. You get like the Healing Fireball whew, really fast. And then a little bit later, the Fireball comes. Jezra, the Void Milf Mother. More health. 
This is undoing a nerf or balance change that she got, I think, previously. Um, so going up from 700 to 750. Um, no chance. I think you can still... You can still fireball a heal... Uh, you can still black hole with a healing fireball if you're fast enough. Because you've got the cast delay. So everything has a half a second cast delay. This is half a second on top of that. But of course the black hole is going to have the half second anyway. So that kind of negates it. If you're quick enough... And remember the healing fireball also has travel time as well. So if you're quick, I think you can still do it. Kamikaze Zeppelin. Mana cost down from 6 to 5. Mana Puff Madness. So this is kind of a reaction to the change to the, the puffs that we saw in the last patch where you can spawn them anywhere now. Um, but of course the Mana Puff Madness, the puffs still spawn back at the tower. Uh, so they don't get that buff. So the Mana Freeze going down from 2 to 1. Net Blaster damage up from 80 to 90. If you watch my meta video for 2.8, and you definitely should to see which are the most powerful cards and masters and stuff at the moment, you will have seen or... I don't know if I mentioned it in the video or if it was a question in the video, but Net Blaster was the least used card, tied with one other card. Right, Protocol Assassin, health going up from 350 to 450. Spiderlings add more poison. Storm Tamer does a little bit more damage. Oh, here's one that some people may or may not like. Mana cost for Thelic going down to 8. But he gets two mana freeze. So he still costs 10. But what that means is you can spawn him. Okay, there's two different things that affect this. You can either spawn him earlier at 8 mana. And then your next two mana are frozen. Which doesn't really change much. Or you can save up to 10 or almost 11 if you know how the game actually works. Which means you can spawn him for 8 and then you you have some mana left. You have two mana left. So you could, for example, use Armored Escort, which gives you shields, right? Um, but you'll only have two mana left, okay? It doesn't matter. How, even if you're up to like 10.9, you'll go down to 8.9. But your next two mana will be frozen. So you'll only have two mana. Did I say eight point? You'll go up to ten point. You'll have 2.9 mana. You'll never get to three mana until the freeze is over. So you'll only have two mana to support it with. Um, which may or may not. It doesn't give you too many options, I guess. But um, an improvement. But see, the thing is, if it was... If it was seven and three mana freeze, then you could, then you would have enough mana to black hole it, for example. But that might just be too strong. Right. So those are the buffs. Rebalances. Apep perk two papyrus of the black obelisk. Cooldown will start when the spellbook is played. Run for five seconds, and then after which the cooldown will pause until a card is played. So this encourages you to use the spellbook quickly. If you're using the spellbook within five seconds, it doesn't make any difference. If you're holding the spellbook open for ages, then this will be a nerf. Because you can't end up with just holding a spellbook open, spawning the, the spell, choosing the spell, and then getting another one immediately. And the same... Oh, sorry, that's a minion. But the same with the Zanian spellbook for Milloween uh, with regards to the spells. So... You have you basically have five seconds to, to make your choice before holding on to it is a negative. Okay, now the nerfs. Battle she how damage going down from 75 to 65. I feel like I don't see battle she how much anyway. Um so I'm not entirely sure why that's necessary. Blade Star, again, I don't really understand this. Well, I understand it, but I don't understand the impact. So it's going to, the proposal is it moves twice as fast, but it only lasts half as long. But if you know how to calculate the speed and stuff like that, then, or, or like distance traveled, the distance traveled is going to be the same, right? It's going to be moving twice as fast, but half the time. So it's going to move twice. 
It's going to move the same distance. <laughs> but the fact it's twice as fast means that if you do get it in between a, mass, a unit and a tower, it's going to really shred it. Uh, even more than it did previously, because especially a, a unit that's moving away from the tower, sometimes you get it in there and it will get one or two bounces, but then the unit's moved. But if it's doing it quickly, it'll be in there. Um, and even if you miss it, because it's still traveling faster, it will still go the same distance. So the big nerf is the fact that the Blade Star will, will be on the field for less time. Because sometimes if there's a blade star bouncing around, you don't want to play anything. So that's the big change I can see how it's nerfed. But I feel this feels like a change that it makes it worse in some situations, but better in others. I don't think this is the change that it needs. Right. Bats, 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 and one more bat. That's exactly what the name is. Duration going down to five seconds. We've seen that a lot in the current patch. But there is a change, I think we'll see it in a minute with Rex Perk 3, where it, it doesn't affect the illusions, doesn't give you illusions from air units, which is what people are using a lot at the moment. So that will probably fall out of um, contention a little bit. Disruptor Puff only stuns for one second. Okay, Feng the Wanderer. Is this just the Feng's damage going down? So the Battle Shi Hao is linked to the Feng, so it gets nerfed with it? Don't know. Haunting Hugger damage goes down from 100 to 80. Remember, it does the hug damage and then it applies the curse. Uh, so this will kill less things immediately. Heal Puff healing down from 15 heals per second to 12 heals per second. Heal Puff really benefited from the new puff changes because you can play the puff right next to the bridge and then it's immediately on the bridge and immediately healing. I feel like it needs some kind of minimum delay there it's the same with the shroom path the shroom path you get a shroom almost uncontestedly right illusion aoe radius going down from 2.5 to 2 so that affects both cards like the illusory dragon whelp i assume and the illusory cleaver remember when they die they do their aoe uh, but also it also affects the illusions that you get from rex perk 3 so a few things that are going to affect rex perk 3 the mass illusions. Illusory Dragon Whelp. Voidborn Wound also increases mana cost. So I think that what that means is you normally get one Dragon Whelp. If you trigger the Voidborn Wound, which is a Voidborn minion doing damage to your opponent's tower, you get three of them. Normally it didn't cost more, but now it's going to cost more. What the increased mana cost, mana cost is, I don't know. Maybe one more. We'll see. Okay, Jade Spark Shi Hao. So these are the monkeys that you get from the Jade Spark Watchers, the big ones. Their damage goes down along with the other ones. Legionnaires, mana cost going down to four from five. You only get three instead of four, but they gain Empyrean Army, which means if you have seven or more Empyrean cards in your deck, uh, which may or may not include the... Um, if, you're, like, if you're playing Valorian, whether it includes his perk cards. Um, if you have Empyrean Army, it costs one more, but you get one more Legionnaire. Right, so you pay four mana for three Legionnaires, or you activate it and you pay five mana for four. So five for four is what it costs before, right? Five for four. Okay. Doesn't really feel like it's going to change much. Just, hmm, I don't know. Right, Mana Puff, first tick, 15 seconds instead of 10. Nether Bat's got the attack cooldown nerf. They got a change in the last patch, which means that they will stay aggroed on a target as long as they can keep attacking it. Wrecked Perk 1, the Gun Carter, the cooldown. So that's the how quickly you can either jump into the field or jump within the field. Is up to 23 seconds. His standard perk 1, the Shadow Dance, receives that change also. And as we mentioned earlier, Wrecked Perk 3, Mass Illusion, now only copies ground minions. So that's going to be no awkward frost feathers that you get from the flyby. Um, no bats and stuff like that. Ratbow Perk 2, Squeak Attack. This again got nerfed in the last patch. 
where only Ratbo's um, Ratbo's generated scrats actually get this buff, not your teammates. So that was a that was a two v two only nerf. Whereas now this is a one v one and two v two nerf, where it's a cooldown of five seconds, so you can't just qu quickly keep. Hmm. So I wonder if the scrats still spawn, but they only get the squeak attack buff every five seconds. I haven't seen a nerf to the... I feel like the Tranquil is separate to the other monkeys. So that maybe that's why we haven't seen him in there. And the Windwalker Shihao damage goes down as well. So all the monkeys except the Tranquil really getting a nerf there. Right! Okay, that was a lot to cover, but that's in the current PTR. So if you want to go to the Mini Masters Discord, we'll put a link down in the description so you can follow that along. Uh, give yourself the tester roll and you can uh, download this version and check it out. You can test the new card, but there's no visuals with it. It's just a pink werewolf at the moment. So you can kind of understand how it works. There's no visual for the mark either. So it's a little tricky. Um, so yeah, test that out. And of course, make sure you give your feedback. What do you think of the new card? What do you think of the new perks? What do you think of the balance changes? Let me know in the description as well. Always good to have... Sorry, in the comments as well. Always good to have that discussion. Okay, like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Bad as a Fish, and I'll see you again soon here in the fish tank. We're going to do a left-handed awkward wave. Wild. We're out of control. This is not the end of the stream, it's the end of the video.